Had some rain this morning. Things are moving out as far as the rain and moving uh, well out of the area. Our allergy index is up again today, a medium for weed, grass, and mold. Temperatures starting to get up back into the 70s as we, after we dip down into the 50s and 60s this morning. Still holding back to around 66 in Woodville, 68 in Jasper. Then we jump to 70 in Kirbyville, Silsby, and then middle 70s around the triangle here at the lunch hour. 75 through both Beaumont and Port Arthur and 74 in Orange. Out towards our west, they're holding into the 60s. Probably won't make it to 70 today or just make it to about 70 uh, degrees. Here's the front. It's pushing off towards the east out ahead of it. Still a good line of showers and thunderstorms. Just a few lingering showers back behind it, but everything is cleared out of southeast Texas here as high pressure builds in for a short time. It uh, looks like as we head towards uh, late tomorrow into the weekend, we'll start to see another system come in and that promises some uh, uh, pretty hefty rainfall as we head into a Friday, Saturday, and then the first half of Sunday. But right now we're trying to clear out some of those clouds. There are still a few clouds around the area, so we'll go mostly sunny through the afternoon. Uh, maybe some thicker clouds through Jefferson County right now, but the lakes area seeing almost wall-to-wall uh, -wall sunshine sunshine up there. Take a look outside and we'll see some of those clouds kind of moving into parts of southeast Texas here for uh, this afternoon. Here's the view from Education First Federal Credit Union put on our 12 News Roofing 911 Live Skycam Network. No rain for the rest of the day. We'll continue to be dry as you take a look at our Southeast Texas radar sponsored by Worth Roofing. Uh, don't see anything out there as far as any uh, rain. Don't expect any through the rest of the day. And then even tomorrow, we're not expecting any rain uh, until we get very late in the day, maybe uh, as we get into Thursday evening, as we start to see some moisture kind of spill back into the area. But uh, for this evening, we'll be in the 60s to start off, 50s by late in the evening, and we uh, stop right there about the middle to lower 50s going into tomorrow morning. Could see a couple of upper 40s towards the lakes area early on your uh, Thursday, and then we warm up pretty quickly. We'll be back into the 70s tomorrow. Like I said, through the first half of the day, it looks dry, and then we'll start to see some clouds return and maybe an isolated shower by late in the day on Thanksgiving. Overall, I think you'll have, be fine if you have any outdoor activities planned for tomorrow. Northwesterly winds at 10 to 15 knots today along the coast. Seas will be about 2 to 4 feet, just a light chop on the inland lakes and bays. No advisories out there. Water temperature in the Gulf at 69. Our next high tide's coming up here next hour at 127. Our forecast for today, mostly sunny, warm, Warm and dry. No more rain today with a north to west wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures today 75 to up to about 78 degrees for afternoon highs. And then for tonight, much cooler than this morning. This morning we actually started in the 70s before the front came through. Uh, tomorrow morning we'll be dipping down uh, middle to lower 50s. And like I said, cannot rule out maybe a couple of 49s, 48s up towards uh, the lakes area tomorrow morning. Here is a look at the seven day forecast and Thanksgiving day looking good. 77, mostly sunny, slight chance of rain late in the day. And then Friday, Saturday and Sunday, those days look pretty wet. A good 80% coverage of rain both Saturday or Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday, the first half of the day looks wet before it starts to clear out. Uh, two to four, maybe three to five inches uh, starting Friday through Sunday. So uh, those three days we could pick up an inch of rain one day, two inches of rain the next day, something like that. So uh, definitely looks like a wet period. Don't expect any flooding or anything like that just because it's been so dry. We're way behind for the year, so we could take a, a lot of rain. And then Monday and Tuesday, we start to cool down. Highs in the 50s to start off next week. I think by Tuesday morning we'll be looking at 30s, the first time we've seen that this season.